Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle. Yesterday I illustrated value at risk under the historical simulation approach for a single asset today. I'd like to show you historical simulation for a portfolio of assets and we'll see why this is considered a very intuitive way to estimate value at risk. For illustration's sake, my portfolio will contain only three assets. That would be stock in Google, Yahoo, and Microsoft. And let's say I have $300 evenly invested in each. So I have $100 in Google stock, $100 in Yahoo stock, and $100 in Microsoft stock. Then I went and pulled historical price series for each of the three stocks and calculated the daily periodic returns. So for example, here, last Friday, Google stock dropped by 10%. Yahoo's stock daily periodic return was negative three and a half percent and Microsoft's one day periodic return was negative 0.9 percent. So I have for each of the three stocks the daily return on last Friday, last Thursday, last Wednesday, last Tuesday, last Monday, and so on. The idea with historical simulation for a portfolio is that I take the current portfolio or the portfolio weights so remember this is the investment that I have today and I run it through the historical returns so I'm really pretending or assuming or asking what if I held today's portfolio and experienced the historical returns. So for example in the case of last Friday if I had a hundred dollars invested in Google and that one day drop was negative 10.3 percent I would have lost 10.3 dollars. Similarly Yahoo as it the daily return was negative three and a half percent would have lost negative or 3.5 dollars and Microsoft I would have lost 90 cents. So if I held my current allocation and experienced Friday's historical return, each of my assets would have lost this amount such that my portfolio would have lost $14.7. And then I do that for each day in my historical window. Here's last Thursday's returns. If I held a portfolio in my current allocation and experienced the historical set of returns, I would have lost this amount for each asset and the portfolio would have lost six point six dollars. Notice if this is not going to be equal to my portfolio allocation that I actually had last Thursday because it's a hypothetical today's portfolio against historical returns. Having done that I now have here in this column in green a series of simulated historical portfolio gains and losses. And as before with the historical simulation I can plot that on a histogram. So here's the simulated losses for the portfolio. We can see that the peak is here somewhere near zero as I would expect. These are daily returns and I can ask myself the 95 percent confidence VAR question for example, remember I get to choose the confidence. Could be 95, could be 99 percent. But if I say what is my 95 percent value at risk, I want to find the cutoff point here on the x-axis such that 5 percent of these observations, albeit simulated, are to the left. So maybe that's somewhere here. So I have 95 percent to the right, 5% to the left, and I'm going to call that my 95% confident value at risk based on a historical simulation. So you can see it's really a simulation because if I change the portfolio weights, for example, let's say I currently have $200 in Microsoft, well, my simulated portfolio returns are each going to be different. I'm running the current portfolio allocation to the historical returns. So I'm going to get a different set of simulated historical portfolio outcomes. 
But again, the value at risk question I can ask right up here, that's in light orange, at 95%, it is as simple as, given that I have a, an historical series of portfolio outcomes, I'm really just asking a percentile or quantile question. You can see the formula here is the percentile for that range, and I want the fifth percentile if I want the VAR at 95% confidence. So that's historical simulation for a portfolio as a simple and intuitive way to estimate value at risk. This is David Harper, The Bonnock Turtle. Thanks for your time.